Hey, we out here. Culture cast. I could have named my That's podcast good. that. Tell us about where we're at. You own this so, place? Yeah, this is a gym. This is just Zoo Culture, so it's in Woodland Hills. I own it with my obviously my amazing team, but this is Saturday, Saturday morning, so it's lit. It's a pretty nice gym. Might be a little nicer than mine. I get in here and get real buck, but we're, I think we're gonna do a podcast too, so. Hi, good morning. All right, Chris. I never worked out on camera before. I'm kind of intimidated. Uh, probably three, four times a week. You don't even understand how bad I was like six months ago. I hadn't worked out for years, still getting back into it. I feel so much fucking better now though. What do you normally do when you work out? Fucking lift heavy weights with this fucking Iranian guy. Who? <laughs> this guy Bobak <laughs> who trains me. Okay. What do you want to train today? Chest. Okay. Shoulders. Yeah. Some shit like that. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin. I got a special guest today. It's Why uh, because so I don't know. I like to. I like to. He's a YouTuber. Me. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> exactly. Who wants some YouTubers? <laughs> um, I got a special guest, Adam Twenty Two, also from the No No Jumper Podcast. No Jumper. Podcast. Um, I swear, I don't know, it was the beginning of the last year, I started randomly seeing him pop up everywhere. So real quick before we get into the workout, I know I asked you this when I first met you, but like, how did you start to get into that? When I was 22, I started a BMX website, and it was basically the first website of its kind, just posting BMX videos and news and stuff like that. Did that for about 10 years. I just knew some rappers, started to do a little bit of content with them, and then it just started to sort of snowball from there. And just kept getting crazier and crazier opportunities to this day where I still like can't believe the opportunities I've been getting for just different videos we're making and stuff. And I have my own YouTube channel too, Adam 22, where I just do vlogs and all kinds of random shit. And then as far as music, do you make any music? No, I, I no. do own a record. I have a label, yeah. But. Okay, so I, there was a song I downloaded. <laughs> and the it, hard song, the Block Boy yeah, yeah, I yeah. was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, we got like a lot of new music coming out and stuff too. So I don't make any of it. It's just, I buy it, you know, through the label. We buy songs we like, we buy verses we like, and sort of put things together. Yeah, warm up your elbows. Yeah, warming up the rotators. So keep your elbows in one spot. Yeah. Good point. The elbows, or the, the shoulders, you got a lot of issues with, I'm told. <laughs> Oh, this is a real bench right here. You see this? You could throw this thing off a fucking Empire State Building and it would survive, man. Oh, those are dope. Yeah, those are YG ones. Damn, what the hell? I need the plug. I got hooked up very exclusively with these. I never worked out on camera before. So, you know, dedicated my whole life to this bodybuilding shit and I've never done it on camera before. It's just kind of an important day. After this, 18 egg whites, three chicken breasts, put a few sausage links through, uh, I'm gonna take it like a suppository. Really tall, by the way. Six three. Yeah, he's tall. He's taller than you. Like, Low key. So I, I always like I wish I was like four or five, so I could have that tiny little range of motion. You know. <laughs> Would you like him if he was four or five? No. I saw this tweet yesterday that was like, "Do you like him or is he just six four? Oh. <laughs> My old Tinder bio used to just say six four. You fucking liar. I'm six three. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you're kind of near the, the the top end of the height pyramid, you can still exaggerate. Men are trash. They lie. <laughs> you want me to get down to my skivvies? You're in charge of oiling me up too. I want to say that. So Kevin made a video of your old buddy that helped that guy go viral. But through his site. But this was how many years ago? 12? 12, 13. 13. So this was before, well before social media. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. that was the internet. Form. So it's yeah. so cool to me that you have like evolved. It went YouTube. from blogging to like blogging. Blogging, like blogging is just like significantly before like YouTube really, you know? So wish I like had thought of blogging in like 2006 when I first started blogging like posting articles about other people's videos and stuff but it took a little while for us to figure that out but yeah I mean that, that was really early era stuff like you know I was always a huge internet fan yeah. I guess it was only like a, a matter of time before I figured out how to make money from it you know whatever you were doing on the internet space you kept going and now you're here I just got too much energy I can't stop doing shit I think I just hold it well. he's good like he's got it I thought I was gonna have to be like yo let's fix this he's got it and he puts the bar back funny though cause I don't know if you're stronger than you think you are but he puts the bar back before it's even He's like bringing his head up and he's like putting the ball back in his hands. Yeah, I used to train with Ronnie Coleman for a few years, you know? <laughs> stop, back, stop. Back around the time I got my pro card. Oh, you got a pro card? Yeah, what year was that? I can't remember anymore, man. <laughs> I used to look at this, this bodybuilding message board, Get Big, all the time. Like 2006-ish. I used to just read it all the time because I was just like fascinated with like the bodybuilding world when I first started working out. Yeah. There's some weird shit on that board, bro. <laughs> Here, Let's baby. see what you got. Oh, we don't get you. Good boyfriend. Oh. Too light. Too light. Too light. Too light. Like some of the haters. Damn. <laughs> hey, I have fake boots, so you guys have to cut me slack. Tell us more. <laughs> Tell us more about this. They're silicone. Oh, yeah. They're size 34 cc. Um, what else? A oh, 340 cc. What are you on, like 40 reps right now? I don't know. <laughs> Plug. I'm Adam22 Blue. I also have my own channel and I'm an 
Instagram model. And if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be like really into working out because she yes. like got me fully back into it. I haven't looked at enough about what you got. Like, you guys don't look this up. Don't look, look too carefully. Don't look too carefully. Hey, you want this shirt? On some shit.com. You want these shorts? You cannot get these. They are discontinued. But think about that and order everything from nojumper.com or on some shit.com the second it comes out because then you won't miss out on your chance to get it. Rep the fuck out. You just went crazy. I might need a little help at the end. He's good at that though. Like he just barely helps you, like the, just the tiniest amount that you need, so you get those last couple ones in. What do you think the hardest part about working out is? Taking the G-string off of the end and it smells bad. When you take the G-string off? No, I'm just kidding. Um, That's the hardest part. What the fuck? Where did that come from? For me, it's the injuries and shit, because I got a lot of inflammations in my forearms and shit. Too. From the from the BMX stuff? Yeah, just over the years, my whole body's fucked up. But. I don't think I got any 315 in me. <laughs> Have you ever done it before? No, no, no. The most I ever did was like 265 at one point a couple years ago. It don't matter. Go back to 225 and just do another set. Uh, yeah. Eight. Push, push, push. Push. Push, 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 push. I feel like I just went like further than I probably have gone in a long ass time. Barely coaxing that last couple of reps out of Force reps. Like if you guys have a buddy in the gym, these are like benching, um, not necessarily squatting because it's like more dangerous if you fuck up. <laughs> Benching for sure. Forcing reps sometimes is a really good thing. If you can do five, get a buddy who can help you the last three to keep you moving. That's just the most important thing so it doesn't like stick. If you got someone to just keep you moving and then you focus on bringing it down, the eccentric phase, like lowering the weight slowly and then having them help you on the way up. Because the hardest part is this part, pushing it up. You could always take heavier weight down. So let them like let their hands off, take it down slow, and have them help you on the way up. Well, I didn't mean to, for the shirt to be this tight. <laughs> like I knew it was going to be tight when I picked it up, but when I put it on, I was like, fuck it, I didn't want to change because I was rushing out the house. It doesn't get much tighter than that, man. Let me tell you, Chris. I love the pump. Blood just pouring into your arms and your chest is just oh, I feel so good. That's like the reason I do this. It makes you feel glorious in that moment. It's so weird sharing this side of my life with the people at home. I feel like this is an Adam 22 vlog. Yeah, probably. Because we're doing some, some non cultural shit. Look at Lana hopping on the Sam Master. She knows what she likes. Keep that ass looking good, you know? She's super tight. They got ill equipment yeah, here. Look at this man. fucking bar he's pulling on. We don't got shit. Look at some money. Look at that. Would you make that in shot glass? <laughs> See that thing on the lathe? Yo, that thing is crazy. For the fans out there, yeah. what is it that makes you want to do like chest and like upper back at the same time? So anytime you work like a posing muscle groups, mm. it's better for blood flow. If you're working your chest, it helps blood flow for your upper back. So it's just, if you're gonna do like higher volume, it helps you get a better pump. At the same time, a lot of people, they do what they like. So it ends up being like, people do more pressing movements mm. and they don't get enough balance. So they end up with like their shoulders rotate forward. They have that slouch look. Or they get shoulder injuries. Yeah. So it's really just about balance. So everything is like this and like this. So all your muscles are getting tight and that's gonna like, basically mess up everything in the back. So for you, it's, it's important. Like if you have lower back issues, it's very important to, to be balanced here. Yeah. Instead of just everything forward, cause then you, your shoulders start to do this yeah. more, you slouch more, or fuck your posture up. I feel like working my core has made the biggest impact on like my back yeah. too. Cause Without it a strengthens doubt. the other side. So you, know? you strengthening your core, which is like everything here. Yeah. And this will protect this. Yeah. yeah. That's just like that, just like that. Have you ever got it like diagnosed or like scanned or bulging discs and shit? Like I got MRI a couple months ago. They're pretty much like you can't really do anything in particular for it, you know? Yeah. Like I said, this stuff and yeah. strengthening around it will will make that way better. You're trying to like open your elbows up. Elbows. Starting to look good. Yeah. Starting. Okay. okay. I mean, you look good. Hey, Stairmaster Super Set. Oh. Let's go. Little pump. Little pump. Little pump. Little pump. Got our own friggin' agenda here. 
at this point in your career, you're doing a chest workout, your average chest workout. How many different exercises and how long in minutes would you tend to go towards? So it always changes. Like it depends what I'm like actively trying to like achieve it, you know, in that given like couple months, whatever. When I'm doing something, it's like if it's bodybuilding, like hypertrophy related, like I'm trying to get bigger. Sets would probably be like four to six sets. So like it's the same exercise. Right. And I would try and hit reps of like 15 to 25. But at the same time, I as I'm focusing on those things, I always like to be able to maintain strength. So come in a few times of the week. Let's say if I focused on higher reps today, like 20 reps, 15 reps, I would still come in like next time and do like lower reps more for strength so lower reps like more like a powerlifting style what do you think that you're training for at this point in your life because you're not like competing Man. just just in general just yeah to be honest with you that's like a life question i'm even asking myself right now because i don't do it to compete i did way early on but i didn't really find much enjoyment in it being like a youtuber you can kind of go in either direction right like you could be super strong or just big or i can't it's hard to really answer that question i don't know exactly what i want right now to be honest like right. i want to be better i know that it seems like oh as of lately it's been like organizing business stuff in my life and right. this has kind of been like secondary which before i had all this always primary right. and until the last few years it's kind of like I've had to find a different balance and that's just the hardest thing. So if I feel like I could have things balanced in a way, then I could go after and pursue. Cause I know how much, like if I want to really get stronger or really get like in super good condition, it takes so much mental focus that it, it's hard to focus on the business yeah. side of things. So it's, it's really finding balance. And that's, that's my main goal right now. You, know? you got this way by being super one-sided and focused. Absolutely. And, and now you have up. everything tearing your attention in other directions. Yeah. yeah. And it fucked up relationships. It fucked up all kinds of shit along the way. My it's about finding balance. Up. My girl's like, can't handle how fucking swole I'm getting. Yeah. I can't yeah. cuddle with him at night because his arms are like smothering. He gets too hot too, right? He's like, yeah, get off of me. Uh, yeah. Every day he's asking me for an extra egg in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> no, not five days. Today I want half a dozen. You cook his breakfast? Every day. Oh, that's what's up. But no. He washes the dishes every yeah. day. That's every day ish. Every other day. My beard is really. Once I see this, I'm like, damn, I look like that right now. I need to clean this up. I'm trying to get the Timber Girl beard. You do it. We're basically yeah. exactly the same person after that. We got the same hairstyle. Introduce myself. How do I do that? So, I'm that buff guy from YouTube, Bradley Martin here. We're at Zoo Culture. We're going to film a podcast. My boyfriend bought me here and is now staring at me, like talking to this muscly guy for a little too long. I stand. I support. You ever listen to Action Bronson? Yeah. He is like an old school bodybuilding fan, and he has a lyric where he says something like, you know, Dorian Yates, my DeLorean weight. So he just, he'll mention like random, like old school bodybuilders and stuff. I never heard. Yeah. I know he was he's into that super shit. fat, That's but he used dope. to be super into working. I didn't know that. He always talks about how he was on the juice back in the day and like, oh, it was so dope, all this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. After this, I feel like my fans are gonna really hold me to uh, getting bigger and stronger. They're gonna be checking in on me and shit. You, you do push it. Yeah, I don't know if I did 25 in a long time. Usually we stop around 20, but Chris, you wanna see 25 push ups? Judge me, judge me, bro. The reason for the push-up, why it's real dope, Adam's obviously got an issue with his lower back, so it's like, he's gonna get more core strength from doing the push-up at the same time, upper back stability. When you're doing the push-up versus a bench press, when you're bench pressing, it's like you're being stabilized by the bench, right? When you're doing a push-up, your upper back, your back muscles, your rear delts, your rotator cuff, your rhomboids, muscles deep in your back are stabilizing your body, keeping it so it's not like, right? And that's very beneficial to the rest of your body, especially your lower back, so that's why we added it in there. 25 push-ups went good. Dips afterwards, had to stop at six. That was a little rough. Back to back is gangster. Because normally I do it on my floor. We're having titty problems. Worst range of motion I can imagine for a breast implant is just. I know. I feel like I'm gonna take off flying. You see that definition? I know you see that, Chris. It's glimmering. I need an arm shave. Babe, shave my arms while I work out. Don't shave. It's hot. She'll just twerk on me mid workout. Ah, you're sweatier than me. <laughs> I was doing a stairmaster, sir. Oh, I'm feeling swole as shit right now. I feel, really feel like I'm ready to podcast and maybe eat a bacon turkey club, you know? I love you. What? <laughs> You'll do like one set and you're like, I'm gonna eat a whole giant meal. I can take on the world. I'm so I need so a damn turkey in me right now. now. Hey, you don't understand the, the need for protein that professional bodybuilders like me and Bradley need to stay in the game. My protein requirements, I had three cartons of eggs before I came here. 36 eggs to start the day. 36 eggs? Yep. And then what's his side dish of choice? He tells me he wants five. I give him like three because they're extra large eggs and there's so many. We all came from an egg. Maybe not the egg, that egg, but we did come from an egg. Oh man, I'm feeling <laughs> swole. Feeling about 80% swole. Gonna get that last 20% polished off and do this podcast. Pull over just so the cops sit behind you. <laughs> get it? Keep all the Oh, okay.
Squeeze it up this way, come up. Yeah, just like that. I never like felt that, to be honest. I, like skull crushers, but that's all in this. That's different because you're like really getting that stretch backwards. Bring your elbows forward. Yes, yes baby. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. Oh, that did not look cute. Feels crazy, right? This form is good too. Yeah, let's go in. He's like the first like non-fitness person that I worked out with that I was like, oh shit, he got it, he got it. He got it. Body's all fucked up, so I feel like I always needed to have like pretty strict like form to do anything because I'm scared. Camel uh -huh. toe is in. I untoed the camel. I got it. Could you date a girl that was like super jacked? Oh man. And by super jacked, I mean like, maybe not like all the way bodybuilder. I think I like, could, yeah. I've, I've hung out with girls who were like pretty muscular before. I don't know, I feel like it might push me to like be like, no, I need to be, get be on more. it. I need to gain 30 pounds of muscle before this really prosper. You know? So if I had like 10% body fat and no ass, would you be down still? Hell no, we need ass for sure. If you lost your ass from working out, I'll buy you a new one, so it's all good. Oh. As a girl, I could never walk up to someone as big as you and be like, oh, you're hot. Cause then it's like, who knows what happens? But I'm sure there's a lot of girls where that is their exact type. It's just I don't know because I don't have that look, so I don't find out. You know? I like BMX riders with really big arms. Oh, oh, I don't ride BMX. You're gonna have to go find some kid from the shop on some shit. 7669 Melrose. Come on in. Yeah. We'll give you an autograph. We'll give you a selfie. We'll sell you some shit. That's the name of the business? Yeah. I like it. I've owned this, this business for like, this shit's been over like a year and a few months. And it's it's hard dealing with like landlord, like parking, people, employees, insurance. This is like, I have a lot of respect knowing that you've done it for that long. Because sure. I just started doing this, I'm like, this shit's a difficult. She's your back. Hey. Oh, the last. The last. The last. Stretch, stretch. Clickbait planning, you know? That's what we do. That's what YouTube is right now. Yeah. It's crazy. The best content, and you gave it a normal th like a normal thumbnail, a normal title, no one would click that. I seen like a 10-year-old girl wearing a clickbait sweatshirt the other day, the David Dobrik merch. I was very much, I wanted to go over and be like, props, thank you for supporting the culture. Clickbait yeah. culture, yeah. Clickbait culture. Oh, yeah. He's holding it. I'm like being crushed by the bar. I'm like at the bar, like strangling me. That was a tight workout though, yeah. bro. It was funny because when I was looking at you for the I thumbnail, I was like, so not right. She immediately got off of me and was like, <laughs> like a spider monkey on him. She a loyal hoe. Huh? You feel me? Mine is Culture Cast. You guys check the link below. Their links will be below as well. Um, and then I'm going to go sometime this coming week. Yep. And I'm going to go do one at the bike shop on some shit. We're going to learn about him. And we're doing no jumper. Real guy right here. Show him love. Lena. Uh, I met her briefly too. She told me about what she did. Check out, check out no jumper. Check out Adam22 Vlogs is the other one, right? My other channel, Adam22, is where I do a lot of the vlogs, highlights from the podcast, uh, different stuff like that. And then the main channel, No Jumper, is where I do most of my podcast interviews, vlogs, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Real cool dude, check him out. Appreciate it, yeah. All right, well, we're about to uh, hop on this podcast, Culture Cast, and then uh, let's see you back at the store. Okay. See you guys. Thank you for coming. I'm just chilling with Adam, huh? Yeah, I'm just chilling with Adam, huh? I'm just chilling with Adam, huh? Look, that's the host of Adam, huh? I'm just chilling with Adam. <laughs>